Hey, hello everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. Today is Sunday, December the 24th, and you know what that means. That means we all should be watching NORAD instead of watching me and tracking Santa Claus to see what time he's going to be in your area. So, don't know if we'll have very many people here tonight. Hey, Cheryl. Don't know if we'll have very many people here tonight. I understand that it's Christmas Eve, but since, and hey, Cheryl, and, but since Casey, um, Looks like it's imminent um, that she's gonna have um, baby number one, ba grandbaby number one, and baby number one for her, Alyssa. Um, I'd say just any day. I'm guessing January 1st. Her husband is guessing tomorrow, which I'm hoping it's not gonna be tomorrow, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. We'll take we'll take her when she comes. Then I thought I better do a chat on Christmas Eve. Um, in case any of you were here, and it looks like there's a few of you here. Um, but yeah, but just in case she has the, you know, goes into labor so that. You know, I won't skip out on you all for two weeks in a row. And hey, Carla, Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody um, that celebrates Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, Merry whatever you do celebrate. Um, hey, Nancy, Merry Christmas to you. Um, so yeah, again, today is December the 24th. So if you're watching this with us live, then it's December 24th. And hey, Vanessa, Merry Christmas. Hey, Pamela. Yes, it's very exciting and Merry Christmas. Um, so if you're watching this live, obviously you know, already know I'm going to be chatting with people. And last week was so weird because we didn't we didn't do it live. And a, it was weird because um, Facebook would not post it until I got back to Wi-Fi. So um, yeah, it took forever for it to post. Um, and we obviously did it from the car. So I hope I didn't make any or from the truck. So I hope I didn't make anybody car sick because you were watching me as we were driving back um, from Orlando. And, um, hey Pam, yes, I'm glad I'm here too. And hey Kim, Merry Christmas. So, um, so yeah, so it was real weird. Ugh. So it was real weird last week because I was just talking to myself and there was nobody there to talk to. Um, yeah, so that was really weird for me. And, um, so yeah, John and Dusty were just listening to me as we were driving. But poor John, he's been trapped two weeks in a row now, um, for the chat and hasn't been able to get away. So he has escaped um, to the bedroom, but we live in a loft, so he'll hear everything that we say anyway. Hey, Debbie, Merry Christmas, and hey, Tedders, Merry Christmas. Um, so yeah, if you're watching it live, again, it's Sunday. If you're not, if you're watching this on YouTube, and that's youtube.com forward slash if you have an egg, then this was live. And I think what I'm going to start doing for you YouTube people, when I post it, I'm going to tell you like what time the content starts so that maybe... I won't get so many messages about, and it's not as many as it used to be, but so maybe I won't get as many messages about why are you talking to people? You know, why are you, you know, why are you doing it in this format? So I think I might do that, like to tell the people that are just watching on YouTube, we'll bypass all of the um, frivolity of telling people Merry Christmas and talking to each other and just tell them what time to skip straight to the content, you know, so they don't participate in all the fun stuff. But anyway, hey, Wendy and hey, Carol, Merry Christmas. Hey, Judy, Merry Christmas. So are y'all ready? Tomorrow is the day. Um, how many of you all have already had at least one Christmas? Or if you celebrate Hanukkah, you, you're already, I guess, deep in the throes of it. I don't know if y'all are about to wrap up. Um, hey, Mary, Merry Christmas. And hey, Sandra. Um, Sandra's joining us from Dingman's Ferry. I remember that. I did remember that. Um, but how many of y'all have already had one Christmas or you've been doing Hanukkah or you've been doing something else? How many of y'all have already had one? Um, so, oh, and Pam says, I'm dedicated. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, ma'am. Now, next year, of course, Christmas Eve won't be on a Sunday next year. I started to say next year when there's a little one for us to run around um, after, then, yeah, it may be different. But, of course, that won't be Christmas Eve. So, we won't run into this problem again for six more years, I guess, because, or five more years anyway, because of leap year. Um, six, five or six. And, hey, Pamela. Okay, Pamela's already, um, already done Hanukkah. Okay, so Hanukkah has ended. Did you do Hanukkah, or are you just telling me that Hanukkah has ended? Because I'm just anxious to hear how everybody's done so far. And, hey, Lisa. So we've already had one Christmas, and we had it over at Casey and Allen's, and um, it was with her in-laws. It was it was with Allen's parents, um, and I had no. We had no control. Um, and thank you, Sandra. We had no. I had no control over the food. So I made a couple of things um, that were Weight Watchers healthy. So I know how I handled it. I'm just curious as to how everybody else has um, already handled one. So it sounds like Tedder's already had, had two yesterday and one today, and she's having it at her house tomorrow. Woo, girl. So okay, what did you eat? So the one we went to yesterday, I didn't have a lot of control over. So, um, I made a couple of things that I could have, you know, that were either zero 
three style smart points, which we've got to get used to saying that. So they were either zero FSPs or they were lower um, so that I could have you know those things and not fill up so much on the rest of it. But then I had, remember what we talked about for Thanksgiving, you know, getting prepped for Thanksgiving, um, what, you know, what some strategies were. And so what I did is I just had a little bit, um, you know, just had a spoonful. I remember a spoonful is a regular size spoon. I just had a spoonful of, of, you know, several things, especially a couple of things that I had never had before. And then I had like a half of a small brownie. Um, I cut, you know, cut it in half. Um, and then I had a half of a little piece of cake. And so I counted that as, um, I counted it as about 18 um, freestyle smart points. Cause again, I had a few things that I could eat that, um, that you know, that didn't count. I um, mean, Carol says she had too much wine. Uh oh, that can happen, that can happen. Um, so fortunately, a lot of the things that I eat are zero smart points now. So I was able to load up on, you know, quite a few things. And then the things that I didn't know how much they were, you know, I kind of guesstimated. Um, so, so it looks like several of you all have already had um, one. We're having another Christmas tomorrow, and ironically enough, it is also over at Casey and Allen's house. So apparently their house is the house to be at um, this year. But we are having, we're going to um, break Nana out of the nursing home to take, to take her with us. And so we're making some things that, um, that Nana can eat, which will also be on, you know, their, their low freestyle smart point items. Um, but I'll talk about that at the end. And I really don't expect to be here for an hour, you know, since it is um, Christmas Eve, but I'll talk as long as you all want me to talk. So, I know this isn't actually the first question, but first, first question. How many of y'all attended a Weight Watchers meeting this week? So, from Sunday of last week through today, um, how many of you all attended a meeting? So, if you attended, if you're watching this on Facebook and you attended a Weight Watchers meeting this week. So at some point in the last seven days, you, you went to a Weight Watchers meeting or went to a, um, or went to a weigh in. I wanna see a thumbs up. Um, if you're not watching this on Facebook or like Vanessa just did, you know, a hands up. So, you know, raise your hand. So if you're not watching this on Facebook or if you're not watching this live with us, um, go ahead and raise your hand and let me see how many of you all went. And sorry, I'm having a little meltdown. You know, that comes with being, that comes with being 50 and a half years old. If you notice, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and I have a window open and it's 30 something degrees outside. I'm sure I'll be freezing here in just a few minutes, but look, oh my gosh, a lot of y'all went to meetings. So it looks like several of y'all went to a meeting this week. Um, Karen and I did go to our meeting on Tuesday. Um, we attended, I have my weekly to prove it. Um, but all of you ladies who went to, and if we have any guys who went to a meeting this week sometime in the last seven days, do you know how far ahead of the game you all are because you actually were conscious of this and you went on the, the week before Christmas, you all attended a meeting the week before Christmas. I wish I had Bravo stickers that I could hand out because I would give each one of you here, each one of you that went, here's your Bravo sticker and here's your high five. Give me a high five because you're, well, and yeah, and those of you, and Tedder said, this is my meeting tonight. Carol says, this is her meeting. You all are here on Christmas Eve. I mean, seriously, there are so many other places that y'all could be. You could be out shopping. You could be out. Um, Carol could be off. Walk, Carol could be out walking off all that wine <laughs> that she had too much of. I mean, there are so many other things that y'all could be doing. Um, and you all went to. Y'all attended a meeting, or you're here with us tonight. So I'm super, super proud of you all. Um, that actually makes this week's topic so much easier to talk about um, because the reality is, well, so if you attended a meeting this week, you know that this week's topic, um, oh, and Carla's been sick all week. So she said, thank you for a Sunday night meeting. Carla, we're happy to have a Sunday night meeting for you. And I'm sorry you're sick. I hope you get to feeling better. But this week's weekly, if you didn't get one, remember you can print these off if you're an online member or if you missed this week, you can print them um, from, uh, from the online when you log in. You can go to the weekly meeting and you can print that off and it's in a PDF format. Or if you do attend meetings and you miss this week, um, you can grab one from your um, you can grab one from your leader. You should always, you know, pick one up. And I keep these, some, you know, and I go back to them. If for nothing else, I go back to them for the recipe that's in the back. And we're going to talk about this recipe in just a minute. But so this week's weekly meeting was about, it was a reality check. So it was reality check the holidays. So um, I asked earlier in the week, actually, I guess it was just yesterday. I asked and I asked it on all the social media that I'm on, what people were planning, you know, for this for this time right now. Um, so were they going to A, 
Um, were you going to count everything? Were you going to track all of your um, freestyle smart points and try to get a blue dot? You know, maybe or maybe not try to get a blue dot, but you were going to track everything. Or B, were you going to be enjoy Christmas, um, but enjoy one Christmas day, enjoy that, and then get right back on track. So not necessarily track everything and not necessarily try to get a blue dot, but you were going to, you know, use some... Um, you know, use some common sense, and then you were going to enjoy, you know, one day, and then get right back on track, or were you going to see, and that one was B, or were you going to see, throw caution to the wind, um, and just do whatever for the holidays, and then start back on January 1st. So, I want to see how many people, um, and you can type in, you can say, you know, A, and this is sign language for A, but A, if you are the person who you're going to track through this holiday, you're going to track, maybe try to get a, you know, try to get a blue dot. Um, and for those of you that are new, if you don't know how to get a blue dot, now it's a little bit different on freestyle, um, because the, um, but there are so many zero point foods that we would, some of us would be eating and eating and eating and eating and eating if we tried to get the same, um, you know, number of blue dots as we were before. So, you know, tried to get to that. So now to get a blue dot, you just have to eat you know, anywhere from 10 below your daily amount or up to five over your daily amount. And then you'll earn, um, so, and you'll earn a blue dot. So A was if you were gonna track and try to earn a blue dot. So show me, you know, show me your A's. And I know y'all can't do this on there, but either type in an A um, or show me a thumbs up. But, um, or if you were going to be, if you were just going to enjoy the day, you know, enjoy your time with, you know, family and friends, um, and just, you know, try to be conscious, uh, you know, of what you're doing, but you're going to get right back on track after that, not necessarily tracking, but you're going to get right back on track after that, or C, if you're going to throw caution to the wind and start over again on January the 1st. Okay, so I'm seeing a few B's, a couple of A's, but I'm seeing a couple of C's too. So I'm going to talk to you C people after I get done having my, oh, my little uh, meltdown. Let me get a sip of water already. Okay, A's and B's, A's and B's. Okay, I didn't track everything, so I was a B. Tomorrow, I'm in control of the food. So, you know, for tomorrow's, um, uh, you know, for tomorrow's Christmas meal, um, it's, I'm gonna be an A, so I'll be an A already, you know, all day tomorrow. So I was a B yesterday and today but I will be in A tomorrow because I'll be able to track everything. Okay, so let me talk to you all who, okay, Kim just said I'll start back on December the 26th. So let me talk to you C girls. We had, and we'd only had a couple on here and there's nothing wrong with, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that decision. At least you've made a plan. But here's what I want you want to encourage you to do. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna be on my third Christmas celebration by the time we have tomorrow. Um, somebody earlier had, was on like their, what were you on, your fourth or fifth one? Um, a lot of you had multiple, multiple, multiples. Okay, but for the most part, these started maybe the 23rd or 24th. And yeah, and Trina says you're having your own personal summer. Yeah, no kidding. If you're not at this time in your life yet, oh yeah, it's like you're on, I'm on fire from the inside out. Yeah, and having the window open is not helping at all. But anyway, so um, so this started for most people started around the 23rd or 24th. Um, some of us have had you know treats in and out of um, in, you know in and out of your you know offices or people have been bringing things you know into your home. But for the most part, it started you know like let's say you know 23rd, 24th, and Christmas is probably going to be over with either tomorrow or Monday. So you know it, everything fell over a weekend. So my guess is that most everybody is going to have you know it's going to be in this short you know, short window. So you're gonna have, um, you know, so maybe start it on Thursday and it's gonna end on say Monday, Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday is the 26th. Tomorrow's Monday, tomorrow's Monday, this is 25th. Tuesday is the 26th. Okay, for those of you who have just enjoyed this whole weekend or you've had no control over anything um, that you've been eating this weekend, how many of you all would consider getting back on track on Tuesday, the 26th. So you've only had, thir let's say Thursday to Tuesday, um, that you've been, you know, been kind of off track, that you've not, you know, that you've not kept up with everything necessarily, or that, you know, maybe gone a little bit over, or that you haven't tracked everything. So how many of you all would be, how many of you C's would be willing to get back on on the 26th? How many of you would be willing just to say, let's say midnight tomorrow night, midnight tomorrow night, Christmas is over, stop, draw a line in the sand, Forget about what happened this weekend. Forget about what, forget about what happened, um, you know, Thursday through Monday at midnight. I'll give you till midnight. 
forget about all that. You enjoyed it. You had a good time. You enjoyed your family and friends. But start, get a clean tracker. Um, if you're you know, tracking on your phone, just start on Tuesday. So how many of you will go ahead and get started again on Tuesday? I'm seeing several, seeing several thumbs ups. Um, got a couple people saying Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday for me. Yeah, I think Tuesday is an awesome idea. Um, how many of you are gonna have another issue this next weekend when it's New Year's Eve? For me, that's not nearly as big of a deal. So I'm gonna start, even though I'm, I've been a B, you know, I've been a B and tomorrow I'm gonna be an A, I'm gonna start clean slate, clean slate on Tuesday. So just start all over again. I've already stocked the refrigerator. Um, Casey and I did a click list yesterday and I got bananas, I got apples, I got um, oh, all kinds of fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, I got, um, okay, and Carla says not for me. You're not gonna be able to start again on Tuesday. That's fine, it's fine if you, it's fine if you need to wait, you know, if you need to wait until January. If you've got a whole nother week of festivities, I'm not, you know, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But let's talk about this. We need to do a reality check. The reality check is there are an awful lot of people, not you all, there are an awful lot of people I'm seeing on social media who are just saying, you know what? I blew it. I blew it for the last four days. Um, I've, you know, I've, I'm not going to have any control over what I'm eating, you know, through Monday. And hey, Stacy, not going to have any control over what I'm eating through Monday. So forget it. Forget it. Just gonna, you know, wash my hands of it, and I'm just gonna wait and start over, you know, in January. Um, if you're traveling this week, I understand. Wait until January. If New Year's is gonna be um, an issue for you, okay, wait till January the first or January the second. Um, if you've got way too much going on this week, you know, again, traveling, you've got family in, um, you've got, you know, too many things. You can't, you know, you can't get to the grocery store this week. You know, that's fine to wait until January the first. But please, let's do a reality check. Let's do. We're gonna read through this in just a second, but let's do a reality check. You don't, please don't wait until January the 1st just because you think that you've blown it this last four days. Um, so, let's see, Lisa says more homemade tamales, tamales next week and she'll make more zero um, free smart, the freestyle smart point soup. That's a that's a great idea. Um, so yeah, please don't just throw in the towel um, because you've had a bad day or a bad two days or three days or four days. So even having a bad four days, none of us is here. Not one of us is here because we overate on Christmas in 2016. Not one of us is here because we overate Thanksgiving last year. Or Thanksgiving this year none of us is here because we had you know four days in a row of splurges none of us is here because we were at Disney two weeks before Christmas you know and had a good time and ate what I wanted to yeah none of us are here because of one event so unless you've got something major coming up again going to somebody's going to somebody else's house somebody else is going to be in control of the food um going on a trip you know maybe some of you are taking trips please don't just throw in the towel until january the first um i was really bad about that the first five times that i joined weight watchers i would say oh i blew it i'm just going to go ahead and eat a roll of cookie dough and i'll start over again on monday or uh you know i've blown it for christmas I'll wait and start over again in January, or I'll blue today, so I'll start again next week, or I'll blue this week, so I'll start again next month, or I'll blue this month, so I'll start again next year. Okay, reality check. None of us, none of us got here because of one bad day, one bad week, or one bad trip. Okay, and Lisa says, I plan on hitting my 50 pound loss by January the 2nd, so she's not gonna stop now. Okay, so everybody watch Lisa because I, she's on it, she is on it, she, and she is in it to win it. So she's gonna um, do this. Okay, and Debbie says, LOL, made bad choices 365 days for several years. Yeah, yeah, we're here because of the things that we ate. We're not here because of the things we ate between um, Thanksgiving and Christmas. We're here because of the things we ate between Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's all those other days, all those other days. So, if you got your weekly, again, looks like this. If you didn't get it, you can still download it from um, from online. You can um, download it in a PDF format, um, and you can actually pull it up if you're um, if, you, if you've got online or if you've got eTools. But it's reality check the holidays. If you didn't grab it at your meeting, grab it next week. Um, okay. So, how, how many people how many people recognize this? This time of year, do you feel do you feel pressure? Do you feel pressure to be extra crafty? Yeah. You should see the loft right now. We have another 
we have another Christmas tree ladder. And Barbara says she's planning on hitting Wonderland very soon. Barbara, please, please, please uh, keep us keep us um, tuned in because we want to know when that happens. We want to celebrate with you. Um, yeah, how, how many of you feel how many of you feel pressured to be extra crafty? We've done two Christmas tree ladders this year, and if I could pick the phone up and walk around with it, I'd show you the second one. Um, how many of you feel extra pressured to be social? To be extra social. So yeah, I attended the party yesterday with Alan's family, um, not because I had to, you know, they, I was invited, Casey needed my help, so I attended the party. But how, how many of you feel extra pressure to be social, or to be generous, or to be downright festive? So the guy that I saw, the guy that did my groceries today at Trader Joe's, I walked up and he goes, and he, now he and I talk a lot, so this wasn't like he, I was a complete stranger. I mean, he doesn't know my name. I don't know his, but it wasn't like I was a complete stranger. I walked up in his line and he went, bah humbug. And I said, oh, come on. You've got a couple of, you've only got a couple of hours left um, before you get off from work and you're off tomorrow. And he goes, I know, but I'm tired of the Christmas music. And I said, well, don't worry. You've got 300 and however many more days, you know, until you have to listen to it again next year. And he said, I guess so. I guess so. But so he was feeling the pressure to be um, downright festive. Yeah, and he was not feeling it today because he had to work on Christmas Eve. Okay, if you don't feel that pressure, that's great. That's awesome if you don't feel that pressure. And I'm hoping you don't feel that pressure because you've learned how to be calm, you've learned how to say no, and you've learned how to do some other things. So if you're not feeling that pressure, I hope that it's for those reasons. But if you are feeling that extra pressure, that's totally normal. Totally normal. So please do not think that you're the only person. Um, I know it feels like that a lot of times. You think I'm the only person who has taken on these 30 guests coming to my house or that I've taken on providing all the food for this event or I've taken on, you know, do whatever, you know, whatever the thing is. It's perfectly normal and it's perfectly normal to get caught up in that and also to either have unrealistic, um, you know, visions and expectations of what you're going to do or to let other people have unrealistic expectations of what's, you know, of what's going to happen. Um, so this is not a, a, you know, a Norman Rockwell um, Christmas anymore. You know, none of us are staying at home, you know, wearing our aprons and fixing our hair, you know, wearing a bow in our hair, you know, and cooking for days and days and days and days and days, you know, and I don't think we are, you know, in preparation for this. Um, so we all just need to, you know, get over that, realize that we're all human and that we're all, I mean, we're literally all in the same boat together, um, you know, and move on. So what are some things that you can do to not feel like, um, that you're under that high, high pressure or to not beat yourself up when you, um, when it happens, you know, and Lisa said she just put her tree up today. Today, guess what? Santa's going to come whether your tree's up or not. And she got her tree up today. So you got it up ahead of time. And Cheryl says she doesn't want to take hers down. I know well, I'm kind of digging these ladders that, you know, that John had us make. So we made, if you didn't see the one at the campground, it actually turned out better than the one here in the loft. The one here in the loft is pretty, but the one at the campground was, yeah, it was top notch. So now I'm trying to figure out how to decorate those for other holidays so that we don't have to take them down. I'm not thinking that's going to fly. But anyway, so a couple of things that it talked about in our weekly this week, um, things that we can do to shift our mindset um, so that we don't get so stressed out. And this one, this first example, the situation was, I've got two hours to find amazing gifts for everyone on my list. Two hours? Wow, what happened? <laughs> the, un, the unhelpful thought. You know, what would be the first thing to pop into your head? I know it would pop into my head. There's no way. There is no way I can get all this done in two hours. There's no way I can get it all done. And then it said, what's the reality check, though? You know, stop, stop, breathe, count, think about it. What's the reality check? The reality check is, yeah, the mall's going to be crowded. Maybe I, maybe I won't get everything done in two hours. Maybe I shouldn't go to the mall. Maybe I should go to another store that I know is not going to be so crowded. Maybe I should buy everything online. Um, you know, maybe I'll just give everybody gift cards this year. You know, it's not going to kill anybody to give them a gift card. And guess what? Gift cards fit. They're one size fits all. You don't have to return them. You don't have to worry about whether or not, you know, they're the right size. So, yeah, and Lisa says red, red lights for Valentine's. I, think, I would think about it. I would think about it. And Kim says she has so much chill this year. She usually wants to decorate, create for every inch of the house, and she even enjoyed scaling back on the decor, and it's still beautiful. So there you go. See, like that's as fancy. That's as fancy as I got this year. So normally I've got all this stuff going down, um, going down the stairs, you know, in the loft, and all this stuff hanging everywhere. So we did a ladder and 
we did this that's above me and it's pretty it's small the loft's not big you know so it's perfect the second one was my parents and in-laws each want us to come for the holidays okay how many of y'all know this one yeah how many of y'all know this one so you've got you know parents maybe parents aren't married anymore you've got in-laws you've got outlaws you've got kids you've got grandkids you've got all these people um you know that are tugging at you you know wanting you to come and see them this year um and i know that was hard for my sister this year my, this, for my sister this year because they live in peachtree city georgia which is um i guess about four hours away from here and they had one day they had one day to come up see everybody go to church with her in-laws and then head back home they had to get all that done in one day and so my sister just made a plan she had everybody ready at the same time they got in the car they left at the perfect time because traffic through atlanta was perfect which never happens um but they got here got here early got here an hour early got to see um we we helped and had everybody at my dad's all at the same time so she got to see three-fourths of her family all at the same time at you know at one in one stop um, and then got to go on to her you know to her in-laws so just a little bit of planning kept it from being super super over the top stressful because that could have been a really stressful um, you know event um, but anyway so it says my parents and in-laws each want us to come for the holidays and then the unhelpful thought was I hate this time of year I can't make anyone happy okay so let's just back up for a second you may or may not be able to make everybody happy you might not be able to visit everybody that wants you to come and visit and you know what you're gonna have to pick and choose you know sometimes people that live far away from other people have to choose you know I'm gonna go see you know grandma Josie on you know for um, Thanksgiving but that's so that I can go see grandpa Ted or you know whatever his name is at Christmas um, people understand their lives you know are busy too and if they don't understand then those may or may not be the people that you wanted to spend your holiday with um, you know anyway so Casey had the perfect example or could have had the perfect example of this this weekend so if you all don't know um, though I think I think everybody that's here tonight knows that Casey is and I know I mentioned at the beginning but I think everybody here tonight knows that Casey is my daughter and she is pregnant with our first grandbaby She's not due until January the 12th, but if y'all could see her waddling around, I, again, I think it's imminent. Um, so, Alan is hoping that it's tomorrow. I'm hoping it's not tomorrow. I'm thinking like January 1st, January 2nd, and there is a full moon on January the 3rd. So, Casey had committed back when she had committed back when she was, I don't know, Casey, if you're still there, um, how how long ago did you commit to have everybody on Alan's side of the family over to your all's house for Christmas? It had to have been a few months ago. It had to have been like in probably October. So several months ago when, uh, or three months ago, when she wasn't quite as pregnant um, and wasn't quite as waddly, you know, and could get around better and could, you know, could get up and down and, and could do some things, she invited all of Alan's family over for Christmas. Well, I guess, oh, it was September when, okay, when she invited them all. So I'm, I'm sure in September it sounded like a great idea, you know, because um, we got a little house for them to live in and we had it remodeled and um, it's in a cul-de-sac, so there's plenty of parking and I'm sure it seemed like a great idea to have everybody out there. Well, so we got closer and closer to the day and Casey's about to pop, you know, she's about to pop and Alyssa's about ready to, to make her entrance into the world. So guess what? Casey can't climb up and down on little ladders and change light bulbs, and she can't squat in front of the kitchen sink and get things out from underneath it, and she can't tote groceries in from the car. Um, yeah, she's not on any kind of restrictions, but if you could see her, she's just, you know, <laughs> she's just getting ready to have a baby. She's not, she's not in for all this other stuff. So instead of panicking and instead of um, canceling it, because it would have been really, really easy just to call everybody and say, hey, there's like 20 of you all, and I didn't realize that, you know, I didn't realize that this was going to be so close to when I'm um, having her, you know, that I was going to be this big. It would have been super easy for her to cancel it. And instead, she just, she just, you know, let it go on and she asked everybody to pitch in. So she had Alan um, help, uh, you know, helping her clean and sweep. And um, uh, he ran us to the grocery store. So we both did, um, we both did a Kroger click list. That would have been, it would have been super easy for both of us to panic and think that we couldn't make it to the grocery store because I was already thinking, oh my gosh, there's going to be too many people there, too many people at the store. You know, we'll never get everything. They'll be out of everything. You know, it's just going to be mayhem. 
But instead, she and I both did a Kroger click list, and then Alan came and picked us up at work and took us to took us to Kroger. And I asked the very nice people. We were at two different pickup times, but when I called them to tell them that we were there, I said, "Hey, you know, very sweetly, said, hey, we've got two pickups in the same vehicle. It's we're it's my pickup time now. Hers is not until um, until later. And Debbie, I'll tell you what a click list is in a second. So you know, hers is not until later. And um, you know, we don't mind to sit here until hers is ready. Well, instead, the very nice young man picked both of our groceries. And it, I mean, we had to sit there an extra few minutes to get mine, but he brought both of them at the same time. So yeah, and, and Casey's explaining click list. But to those to those of you that are watching this later and can't see um, the notes. Clicklist is with Kroger, and I know Food City has Go Kart, and a couple of other grocery, several other grocery stores have them too. Walmart has it, and um, where you can order your groceries online, and then um, go and pick them up at your appointed time. And so we, um, so yeah, so that's what we did. Um, so that way, Casey didn't have to get out of the car. She didn't even have to pick. She didn't even have to park in the expectant mommy spot and try to go in and get her groceries. We literally just sat in the car and talked about what was going to happen, you know, for the rest of the afternoon and watch YouTube videos um, until they brought our groceries out. So um, we enlisted Alan's help. We, you know, we got his help and um, we did the click list and got our groceries together. We had a plan on what we were gonna do. I brought over some decorations. Um, Casey hasn't had, you know, she hasn't had time or felt like um, decorating much. So I brought some decorations with me. And within two hours, we had, Alan had swept, he had changed light bulbs in the bathroom. We had stocked toilet paper in the bathroom. Um, we had made, we had green beans cooking. We had um, bacon wrapped pickles um, cooking. We had the, I put, put Casey in a chair at the end of her bar and she did little knick-knacky things, you know, like she arranged napkins in a basket and she put out the plastic ware and she did things that she could do sitting down, you know, without having to, um, you know, stress too much. And then she enlisted the help of her in-laws and her in-laws extended family. And I'm telling you, when they showed up, it was like a whirlwind of food. So Casey literally, and she, she posted this on Facebook yesterday that she hosted, hostessed her first Christmas party, all from the couch. So, yeah, so everybody, she just told everybody what kind of help she needed, they all showed up, and I'm serious, when they showed up, that place was covered in food. I mean, covered in food. And her mother-in-law was more than happy to help, you know, clean up. I mean, everybody made food, brought food, and guess what, because they knew Casey needed help because she asked for help. She asked for help, she didn't try to do it all herself. She didn't stress out about all of it. She let me decorate the tree. And then I enlisted the help of one of Alan's brothers, you know, to help me, um, to help me decorate the tree. But because she let us, um, you know, help take that stress off of her. And she was very good. The only reason she got in trouble is she would not put her feet up and her feet swe got swollen. But anyway, that's another subject. Um, but because she relaxed, she asked for help and then she accepted the help. So that's the hardest part for me. So are you all listening to me? Because I know there's a whole bunch of y'all out there. I know from listening to y'all talk about other stuff, there are a whole lot of y'all out there that are, it's hard for you to accept the help. You have to ask for the help and then you have to accept the help. She accepted it and guess what? She had a fabulous party. 25 or 26 people had an amazing time. Um, lots of laughing, lots of food um, was consumed. And then guess what? They all cleaned up after themselves. It didn't look like a bunch of um, nematodes, you know, had come in and just you know, and just destroyed her kitchen. I mean, I don't even, I don't even think she had a dirty dish left when we left last night, but they, but anyway, they all took care of it and, and, and helped her, but she accepted their help. So here again tomorrow, tomorrow she's having me and John and she's having, um, of course, Dusty's going and she's having, um, we're going to pick up uh, my mom. We're going to pick up Nana and, um, Oh, okay, and Debbie says little red shaking face for accepting the help. Yeah, and um, So and then maybe John's mom and dad from across the street, but there again um, Casey's letting me do um, most of the cooking and we started um, And we, you know we started yeah and Casey said the house was cleaner after they had been there because yeah her mother-in-law and her mother-in-law's Sister so that would be her aunt-in-law. I guess um, Man my gosh b because there were 20 something people there um, After everybody got done they were they were they were like they were superstars of cleaning they like You know they just moved through the whole house and everything got reswept and um, her, 
her aunt and law even cleaned the toilets after that many people had used their toilets. Anyway, that was awesome. So my point to you all is ask for help, accept the help. It's Christmas Eve. It's still not too late to ask for help. Y'all don't have to do all this stuff yourself. yourself. So a um, couple more things from the book, and it is... I don't know how I do, and I say this every single time. How do I end up talking this long? Because we haven't even gotten to the food part of it yet. Um, okay, so, you know, they always have these think again things. And yes, I know it's backwards, YouTube people. It's backwards because I don't turn my camera around. Okay, so, they always have these think again things in the weekly. And this one is, the unhelpful way of thinking is, there are so many holiday celebrations, I'm never going to be able to stick to my plan. Okay, so what could you all say? What could we say instead um, that's helpful? Yeah, there are so many holiday celebrations. And tomorrow will be, um, you know, and we're having one again tomorrow. So instead, since I couldn't control the one that was yesterday, um, I had mostly zero point foods yesterday. And then I made a couple of zero point things to take, um, you know, for myself. And again, then I guesstimated, you know, on what on what I ate. So a couple of the things I already knew, like jalapeno cornbread, I already knew how many points that was. Deviled eggs, I already knew how many points those were. Um, things that I didn't know what they were, I did. I wasn't embarrassed to ask. I wasn't embarrassed to ask what they were. I just said, oh my gosh, blah blah blah, was delicious. Who made it? Found out who made it. And then I said, how did you make that? That was so good. And they told me how they made it, so I knew how to calculate points. Don't forget to. Um, you have tools with you, um, we talked about this at Thanksgiving, you have tools with you to be able to guesstimate things like, um, do y'all remember this, your thumb? Do you remember how much this is? Yeah, your thumb from here to here, that's approximately a tablespoon. So if you needed to guess how much, you know, how much, how much something was if you were spooning it out, that's about a tablespoon. Um, your this size fist, unless you have giant hands, but this size fist is approximately a cup. So if you needed to say, okay, I'm, I'm going to have, you know, about a cup of something or a half a cup, you know, you could judge, you could judge for, from this. So you'll have your tools with you. Remember this, the, you know, the cup of your hand, that's approximately um, an ounce to two ounces of like nuts or pretzels, you know, or something like that. So remember you have some tools with you. We talked about little size containers that you can use um, for measuring things. Um, Karen, my accountability buddy Karen got me these absolutely adorable this set of measuring cups because she knows I talk so much about being able to measure stuff um you know be able to able to measure stuff you know when we're eating it and people not go oh gosh you know you're measuring everything I mean these look how cute these are so that's you know this one's like this one's a fourth of a cup so I could go ahead you know and measure things out in this and honestly this is so cute I'm not opposed to eating out of these either um but you have tools with you to help you guesstimate, you know, on how much things are going to be. So you don't ever have to be completely off track. You don't have to be, um, you know, completely out in la-la land as to, as you know, as to what you're doing and how, you know, you're going to do it. Um, the next one was unhelpful. The holidays are so stressful with all my to-dos, it's hard to have any fun. Okay, again, pare down the to-do list. Pare it down. Um, you know, we agreed how many parents were going to get seen today, today and we agreed on how much time um, that we were going to take for each one of them, and we got it all done. Um, nobody was stressed out, um, except John lost me for just a few minutes today. I snuck, I snuck out of my dad's and got in the truck, and he thought I was still in the house, and he couldn't find me. So we had a little glitch at that moment, but there was no stress. We got everything done, and we even had time to go to Trader Joe's afterwards. So... You know, make a plan, try to stick to it, and enlist and accept help. Um, I had a lady, when I, when Casey was in elementary school, I had a lady that, um, hey Carol, I had a lady that um, uh, she, the the moms of us, those of us that were, it was a really, really small school, and those of us that were on the, um, on the, um, what do you call it? They didn't have PTA, but anyway, basically their PTA. Um, it was the same eight moms doing all the work every single time. And after about three different events of where I was standing behind a table saying, oh my gosh, nobody ever helps us. I don't ever get to go watch the kids do anything. I just stand here and work the whole time. We're the same eight moms that work every single time, every single time. One of the other moms finally said, hey, I'm here to work a shift. You can go do something else. And I said, no, that's okay. Go enjoy, you know, go enjoy your time with your kids. And she went, 
no, I'm, I'm here to work my shift. You go enjoy your child. And I was, you know, being the accidental martyr. I wasn't trying to, but I was like, no, no, no. You know, I'm, you know, Scarlett O'Hara, you know, oh my gosh, you know, whatever. And um, she said, okay, look, you're stealing my blessing. She goes, I know you're not trying to. And she said, but I'm trying to bless the school by providing an hour of my time, just an hour of my time, standing behind this table, handing out whatever it was we were handing out. And she said, you please go be with your daughter at whatever the event was. And she goes, you are stealing my blessing. And I went, wow, I never thought about it that way. I never thought about it that way. So seriously, let other people help. Okay, um, let's go to some food. How many of you are, because it is already 20 till, and I don't know what time zone you all are in, but I know Santa will be headed this way in a couple of hours, and next year that will be really important. And, you know, I mean, I know Alyssa's only going to be somewhere between 11 and 11 and a half months old, you know, depending on which day she comes on. Um, but it's going to be a little bit more exciting waiting on Santa. So, depending on what time zone you're in, um, Santa could be headed this way in a few hours. So, we're going to talk about some food, um, and then I'll wrap, try to wrap it up within the hour. But how many of you, since we moved to um, to freestyle, how many of you were able to fit in some foods that you thought were going to be either off the list this year, um, or you put in, you brought in something new? You're going to introduce something new into your meal plan um, for you, you know sometime this weekend um, for Christmas or for tomorrow. How many of you have either add, again added something back in? Or have um, or have found something new that you're gonna that you're gonna use for this holiday season. So we have so many new things now that are that are zero freestyle smart points. So again, eggs, tofu, um, all kinds of fish, corn, beans, um, peas, things like that. So how many of you found something that you're gonna be able to either fit back in that you thought was off the list, or you brought in something new? So do a thumbs up if you're watching us here live on Facebook tonight. If you're not watching us live, um, or if you're watching us live here on Facebook, I want you to go ahead and type it. And while y'all are typing, I'm gonna take a moment and say, um, cause, because I forgot to say this at the beginning, um, watch this later on here on Facebook, or you can watch it on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, or you can watch it on youtube.com forward slash if you have an egg. And I have started updating my Pinterest boards. Um, so I now have started some Pinterest boards that are freestyle smart points, not just smart points. Um, I started updating the recipes on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. So I started with newest and started working my way back until I figured out this morning that my secret recipe scrambled eggs are zero, zero freestyle smart points. Hadn't occurred to me until this morning, so I skipped and updated that one. Um, and so Pinterest, it's just pinterest.com forward slash if you have an egg. Yeah, or did I already say YouTube? YouTube.com forward slash if you have an egg. Okay, so people are commenting. So Carol added back in beans and corn. Yeah, those were back on the list. Um, and Lisa put, did Greek yogurt with sugar-free pudding. Okay, Lisa, tell us more about that because I didn't have a whole lot of time this weekend. <laughs> Cheryl says it's 842. Thank you. Cheryl has accidentally become my timekeeper every week. So if Cheryl's ever not here, somebody's going to have to fill in for her. But Lisa, talk to us a little bit more about the Greek yogurt with the sugar-free pudding. So I, I noticed that a couple of people um, were doing that this week on the If You Have an Egg group. Um, so yeah, so fill us in on that. So how much Greek yogurt and how much sugar-free pudding, and then does it still end up being zero freestyle smart points? So I want to know about, I want to hear about that. Um, seriously, I want you to type it. Lisa, I want you to type it out here so that we can so that we can see that because I didn't have time to go back and check it in the group. And, Le and hey, Lacey, Merry Christmas. So Lacey is joining us late. And I'm very curious, Lacey, I'm not trying to put you on the spot because, because you joined late. But Lacey, I want to know, you had something new that you were going to try this week. And I want to know if you, I want to know if you tried it. Um, you don't have to tell on yourself and tell what it is unless you want to because we would, seriously, we would all love to hear. But Lacey, I want to know if you did the, um, if you tried the new thing. And um, Pat said, yeah, Greek yogurt and the sugar-free jello. Yeah, I seriously want to hear more about that. Um, Sandy was in Orlando for 10 days and she ate fish for lunch and dinner for all the days except for one. She tried, ooh, she tried all kinds of new fish and it was great and she came back with the same weight so she was happy with no gain. Sandy, that's awesome. So you tried some new things. Um, and Janice is joining in late too. Hey Janice, Merry Christmas. Oh, okay, Lacey did the steamed broccoli. What did you think? 
because that wasn't something that Lacey had been eating and she promised that she was gonna try something new and so steamed broccoli was new to, for her. So Lacey, I wanna know what you thought. Did you love it? Did you put anything on it? And I know you love cheese. Steamed broccoli is really good with, I'm not trying to take you off just the steamed broccoli, but if you want a little bit of cheese, it's really good with one slice of the original Velveeta on there, and then that just makes it one freestyle smart point. So that's not too bad, and it can still be um, cheesy. Yeah, Kim did the Greek yogurt with the orange. Oh, with orange crush sugar-free powder, and that's just those drink sticks, right? Okay, and Trisha says it's one container and put as much as you like to take and mix a, li a little water to make it thinner. Make sure the pudding is sugar-free and fat-free, and it's awesome. Well, guess what? I have all of that, so maybe... So perhaps I will try that tomorrow. Okay, so let me talk about what we're gonna do different for um, for tomorrow's Christmas over um, at Casey and Alan's house. Because remember, I have a little more control over this. Alan got a honey baked ham from work, so I have planned, and they're, and so they're um, they're having that because they still have the honey baked ham. Um, ooh, and Carol says garlic and lemon on the broccoli. That sounds good too. So they are doing the ham. And because I was able to put back in some more um, freestyle things, um, ooh, sorry, Tedder said yogurt with the butterscotch sugar-free pudding is good. I actually think I have some of that. I may be trying that tomorrow. Um, yeah, Lisa's answering, Trina's answering, so I will definitely try to get these transcripts, you know, topped up maybe tonight, um, since we don't have to be anywhere super early in the morning, which that's two days off from work, yeah two real days off from work because nobody else is working today or tomorrow either so yeah okay so first of all I tried to I tried to write this backwards was I successful does it actually say anything <laughs> because remember everything's flipped like this side is backwards so I literally hand I hand wrote this backwards so I'm hoping that it actually says something okay so Hopefully that does say something. Um, oh, and Wendy did a banana, did banana sugar-free pudding with a sliced banana in her yogurt. Oh, that sounds good, and I've got all that too. Okay, so it may be yogurt for breakfast every morning, and Trisha, or Trina did the crystal light in the yogurt. Yeah, awesome. Okay, and apparently that does say something. Okay, so since, um, since I have all this other, you know, we've opened all this stuff up on freestyle now, um, and I have a little more control over over what we're gonna, or I have actually a lot of control over what we're eating tomorrow. Then this is what I did. So we went to Trader Joe's, and I got. So I'm gonna have the ham. So I'm gonna have one slice of ham. And Merry Christmas, Trina. So I'm gonna have one slice of the ham, and that's about two smart points if you don't eat the sugar crusting on the outside. Um, then I also bought a Trader Joe's um, ciabatta. And there are enough of us coming that I can slice this up into three point um, slices. Oh, and Cheryl said the sugar-free cheesecake pudding in the yogurt. Okay, seriously, I'm, it looks like I'm gonna be having yogurt every day this week. Okay, so the ciabatta um, is gonna be three smart points and I just put a little bit of um, um, olive oil nonstick spray and then the Dean Jacobs, my Dean Jacobs um, bread dipping seasoning on that. And it's so good. So that'll be three points for the ciabatta. Then I've got um, carrots that I have. Um, oh gosh! And Judy puts a half a scoop of Quest salted caramel protein powder in her yogurt. I have that too. Looks like I'll be eating a lot of yogurt. Um, and I have a giant container of yogurt. So how perfect is that? These were the. This was a bag of the Trader Joe's. Um, it's the small carrots of every color. It's the like La Petite. Shoo shoo, I know that's cabbages, but, um, and I put two tablespoons of the Trader Joe's spicy, Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette in, in with this, and I'm going to let these sit overnight, and then tomorrow I'm going to run these through the air fryer, and I'll let you know how those are, but the, um, the spicy peanut vinaigrette does have points, but this will be divided out over six people, and so it's going to be just under one freestyle smart point per serving for the carrots. Then we have, um, I made green beans. Those are zero 
you know, smart points, obviously. We have a dressing or a, a stuffing dressing that was prepared by somebody else for us. Um, we did not make it, and I figured it to be a fourth of a cup, which a fourth of a cup is not small. Remember, it's this big, so it's not small, but if I, feel, I have calculated a fourth of a cup to be three freestyle smart points because I don't, I don't know and I can't ask what went in it. Um, let's see, and Lacey said she did okay, but she had a few too many cookies, but, but you ate broccoli. That's what we were, that's the only thing we were worried about. You ate broccoli. Okay, and then, um, I made something new with the deviled eggs. So, y'all know I don't, I still don't hard boiled eggs because I never did buy a, an instant pot. Okay, hold on. More yogurt stuff. Hershey's cocoa powder, Truvia, and frozen cherries mixed in the yogurt. Oh my gosh, Judy. Oh, that sounds like dessert, Judy. Woo, that's sounds awesome um but i took so i got the i get the trader joe's hard boiled eggs bought um two bags of those and then i cut six of the eggs in half so it made i uh, made 12 halves so it was six eggs 12 12 halves and then um instead of putting like i normally do putting mayonnaise and mustard and um pickle relish and everything instead of putting putting that in there i bought trader joe's it's called uh, it's smoked salmon dip with um with capers so i put that in there and that came out to since the eggs are zero freestyle smart points now and um hey kim yes i know thank you kim, no, kim thank you for being part of my christmas eve um but since the since the eggs are zero freestyle smart points now the um, smoked salmon dip, and I'll put this in the transcripts how much I put in there, but that make, it makes it one freestyle smart point for each half. And of course, the chives that I chopped up on, on top are free. I mean, they're, they're zero smart points because they're chives. But yeah, so with the salmon, it's really good. And I'll post how to make that. And then, let's see, and then the last thing, oh no, I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to skip ahead to dessert for just a second because it is about nine till. And so we're going to wrap up here in just a second or in just a minute. But I made one more thing that I'm super excited about and I cannot wait um, for Casey and Alan to try it. I snuck and tried it and it was, oh, it was so good. So good. But with what I'm getting ready to show you, everything that I've calculated, which you know, it's going to more than fill up a plate. It's going to more than fill up my plate. And don't worry, I also am making some things, um, some other things that Nana can eat. So for those of you that remember that Nana is vegan, I got her um, some chickenless chicken tenders. So um, that was what she wanted. She had tofurkey for Thanksgiving, and so she's getting chickenless chicken tenders. She'll have carrots. Um, I'll probably sneak some of what I'm getting her to show you in honor. She loves the ciabatta bread. Um, trust me, she'll have plenty to eat. She might eat a little bit of the dressing. Um, but... I am going to, I made some of my ambrosia salad, and the ambrosia salad recipe is on the website. It's on the blog. It's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. The ambrosia salad is three smart points, and it's absolutely delicious. It's got um, fruit. It has mixed fruit in it. It has um, light Cool Whip, and if you use fat-free fat Cool Whip, it's even a little bit less points, and it has little teeny tiny marshmallows in it, Ooh, and a little bit of coconut. It's so good. So good. Um, I know, and Casey said, Nana did ask about another tofurkey today, but she, um, yeah, I didn't have time to go to Whole Foods, so I went to Trader Joe's instead. But anyway, so I'm going to use the ambrosia salad is what I'm going to have for dessert. And even though marshmallows are not vegan, I'm going to try and get Nana to eat a little bit of it because I think she'll love it. But the piece de resistance, what I made, and I think, I'm hoping that Casey and Alan are going to love it. This is real full-blown mashed potatoes. This is not, um, this is not, um, cauliflower. This is not rice cauliflower. This is not, um, any other substitute. You certainly could use rice cauliflower in this, but this is real mashed potatoes and they are, um, Trader Joe's. Let me grab the bag. This was so easy. So easy. Um, it was Trader Joe's frozen mashed potatoes and they come in a bag like this. And it's literally just little round balls of mashed of potatoes. And you can dump out as many or, you know, as many or as, as few or as many as you like. And eight pieces are a serving. And it was, um, so I did the whole, I did the whole bag. So I put the whole bag in there. And then I did um, one ounce of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese. 
I did two tablespoons of Trader Joe's um, pub cheese. It's got its horseradish, horseradish something pub cheese. And then I did some, um, some more chives and I did two tablespoons of, um, yeah, and Debbie says that's how the cauliflower mashed potatoes are. This is real potatoes though, because we've got boys that would be able to tell the difference. Um, so these are real potatoes. Um, but let me see, where was I at in this? Oh, it's got some fat-free ricotta cheese in it and it has um, some crumbled bacon in it and it has more chives and it has the Dax um, spices, the seasoning. It's got the um, everything but the salt, so which has like garlic, well, and that's too far away to grab. It has garlic and it's got um, some other spices in it. But um, I snuck and took a bite of this. Ooh, it's absolutely delicious, absolutely delicious. Um, and a serving of this, and again, I'll post all this on the blog, but a serving of this is gonna be two smart points. So I'm planning on having two servings of this. So I'm gonna have the piece of ham without the, um, without the sugar on the outside for two smart points piece of the chia butter bread for three smart points, one thing of the um, spicy peanut vinaigrette carrots for one smart point. I'm gonna have two of the deviled eggs, two of the salmon deviled eggs. So that's gonna be two smart points because they were one smart point each. The eggs are zero smart points. I'm gonna have two servings of the loaded mashed potatoes. So that's four smart points. The green beans are zero. And I'm gonna have a fourth of a cup of the dressing for um, for three smart points, so that's only 15 smart points. I'll take a, obviously, I mean, I always do, I'll take a picture of that tomorrow. That's gonna be huge, like that's gonna fill the whole plate. And Casey, we do still have plates left, right? I forgot to check on that. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be a huge plate of food. And then for dessert, I'm gonna have a serving of my ambrosia salad. Um, all of this is gonna be on the recipe. And Barbara, I'll put the I'll put that on there. I will transcribe this tonight because we have we have nowhere we need to be tomorrow morning. So don't have to get up for Santa or anything. Um but anyway, yeah, 15 smart points for the whole thing, and then three smart points for dessert, 18 smart points. I get 23 for the day. Yeah, I'm gonna be kicking it. Um tomorrow morning I'll eat my traditional um breakfast actually I may try to make something out of tofu for you all but yeah so that's my plan that's my plan I'm sticking with it um, we'll be laid back Casey will let us do paper plates and plastic silverware so I won't have to stress about that Trader Joe's had everything nearly um, made for me I literally made the mashed potatoes the green beans the carrots are getting ready the um, the deviled eggs because I used pre-prepared um, hard boiled eggs and then just mixed this in them and then cut up some chives on them. I mean, I literally made everything that's already made. I got all that ready in probably 40 minutes, maybe, maybe 40 minutes. And then in the morning, all I've got to do is cook the carrots and then we'll heat up the bread over at Casey's house. Done. Done. So I think that sounds like a perfect plan. Okay. It is, what time is it? Three till. It is three till. So we are right on time. Um, I want, do y'all have any other questions before I start saying my goodbyes? Um, Dusty's asleep, so we'll see if we can get his attention, but what questions, what questions or, or concerns about Christmas do you all have? Real quick, oh, and of course Casey said, Dusty, Dusty, come here, come here buddy. We'll see if we can get him roused up. He's had a big two days too. So all the 20 something people that came to Casey's house yesterday, two of them were babies. And he was like, whoa, cause there were people everywhere. So he's like, he is super snoozy today. Super snoozy today. Y'all have no questions. You have no questions or concerns about tomorrow. None, cause nobody's topping anything. Come here, Dad. Come here, buddy. Where'd you go? Let's see if we can get Dusty so we can start saying our goodbyes. Dusty, come here. And is there anybody here? Okay, cake and cookies. So, um, are you saying you're gonna have cake and cookies? Carla's asked, Carla's question is cake and cookies. So Carla, you can certainly have cake and you can certainly have cookies. Um, I would try to, um, I would try to, um, you know, obviously limit it. Um, I've been going for, like what we did yesterday with Casey's, with Alan's family, is I had a half of one brownie Oh, am I gonna have, she's asking if I'm gonna have cake or cookies. Um, probably not. Uh, yesterday with 
um, Alan's family I did, I had a half of a brownie and I had a half of a little piece of cake. Um, so yeah, and I had plenty of points left for it. Um, and then we did walk twice yesterday, so that helped with that. But the half a pe the half of a brownie and the half of a piece of cake made me very happy. It made me satisfied and I had had enough zero smart point foods that I wasn't hungry. So I was literally just, you know, just eating them to enjoy them. And the good thing is when Alan's family left, guess what? They took everything else with them. So the cookies were all gone. The brownies were gone. The um, Rice Krispie treats were gone. Everything was gone when they left. So it wasn't sitting there staring at me and Casey. Um, yeah, so we didn't have to, we, you know, we didn't have to try and, you know, eat it. But yeah, I mean, I would try to sneak something in, um, not sneak it in, I would try to plan for it and include it. Um, my accountability buddy, Karen, her mom makes the best coconut cake you've ever had. Um, if I know that Sharon's gonna be making coconut cake, I plan for a whole piece. Not a half piece, not a bite. I go ahead and plan my, I go ahead and plan my week so that I can have an entire piece of Sharon's coconut cake. So if you got something special like that, I'd go ahead and try to, you know, try to fit it in. Um, and Trina is going to crochet after she eats, so she'll be busy. I think that's an excellent idea to keep your hands busy. What are you going to be crocheting, Trina? Because Casey loves to do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start saying my goodnights because y'all are starting to starting to um, fall off of here yourselves. So good night, everybody. Snoozy Puppy says good night, and everybody says, um, "Nasty, tell everybody good night and Merry Christmas." Um, I hope everybody has an amazing and blessed Christmas. And trust me, if there's any baby news in between now and next Sunday night, I'll let you know. But if, for some reason, if she does go over the weekend, then we probably will not have a chat next Sunday. Um, but trust me, I'll let you know. Do check back here on the page, um, just, you know, just so you'll know. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping for January the 1st. I know Alan's hoping for tomorrow, but y'all will be the first to know. But anyway... Good night. Everybody have a very Merry Christmas, a very blessed Christmas, and maybe we'll see you all again next week. Good night. Get down, buddy. Good night. Merry Christmas.